Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to discuss about the select transformation in Azure Data Factory. It is a very simple transformation. So let's understand the use case and then we will do a practical. When we use a select transformation, whenever you, your requirement is to rename your column, whenever your requirement is to drop any of the column, whenever your requirement is to reorder any of the column, then we use a select transformation. So these are the three use cases. Whenever you have to rename, whenever you have to drop any column, whenever you have to reorder your columns, then we use a select transformation. Let's take an example. Suppose I have this particular data set. In this data set, suppose I have to rename this column name. I want to rename this column name as an employee ID to the ID in Azure Data Factory. Then we can use a select transformation and with the help of that we can rename that. Suppose this LOC, this you want to rename into the location. That also we can do in a Azure Data Factory using a select transformation. So rename is the one of the use case. Now second use case is like drop. So suppose in this is my data set. This is my source data set. But on target, I want only these four column. I don't want location and email. So if you had to drop any column, then you can use a select transformation. You can select the specific column which you want and you can delete whatever the column you don't want. So that is the second use case. The first use case was to rename the column. Second use case was if you had to drop any of the column, you can use the select transformation. Third use case is to reorder. Suppose in target you want first name should come and then ID should come then address should come then salary should come so you want to rename your co column structure then you can use a select transformation so these are the simple use case we have so let's do a practical so in practical what we are going to do so in storage account we have an input container we have a data in a CSV file and what we are going to do we are going to perform select transformation and finally we are going to store into the output so the drop rename reorder these are the practical we are going to see so let me open so i will show you this is my storage account i have two container input and the output container in output container i don't have any data as of now input container i have a data the employee one dot csv file if i will show you and this is the file which i have now what I will do, we will use a select transformation in Azure Data Factory. So for that I will open a data factory, go to the author, click on the data flow. We are going to create a new data flow, click on the new data flow, select the source. The same process we will follow, first we will create a data set. And uh, our file is available in a blob storage, so I will select that. File is CSV file, so I will select that. After that we will create a link service. Select your subscription, select your storage account and then click on the create. After that we have to specify the file path input. This is the file path we have to select. Click on the OK. Now my source is ready. If you want to preview a data, this data preview. In the data preview also you can open. Uh, and you can see for that you have to first data flow debug you have to on once you will on this data flow debug you will be able to preview your data so it's rotating once it will complete you will be able to preview i have clicked on the refresh now you can see the fetching the data now after that uh, we should be able to see our data so that is how we have to debug also so first thing is like whatever the data set and whatever the source you are creating after that click on the data preview and view your data and everything looks good then only you should go further so that is how we do i am able to preview my data email id salary address loc email now we are going to use a select transformation so for that click on the plus and after that you will see a select so this is the select right select that select transformation now here we get first is like name if you want to give any name you can give here incoming stream is the source one that is fine so whatever the duplicate input column if you want to delete you can tick mark that and the duplicate output column also you can delete that now the first thing we are going to see how actually we can rename you can see employee id name as so suppose i want to change employee id as a only id i want to change loc into the loc a location email should i want to change as a email id 
so if you want to rename that is the one use case I mean we, we can rename any of the column with the help of the select transformation suppose you want to drop suppose I don't want this email column so if I had to drop I can click on this uh, delete and I can drop that so that is the second use case now the third one is like if you want to reorder suppose name should first come so I can drag that and I can have that kind of the flexibility also so that is the third use case now if I will show you in data preview we can debug and we can see our data like whatever the we are doing that is correct or not so what I have done, I have, re, I have reordered. So name is coming first, then the salary and then employee ID, I have changed into the ID. So ID only, I can see the column name, right? And the email email column we have deleted. So email column is not coming. So means with the help of the select transformation, if you had to rename, if you had to reorder, so this kind of the activity we can perform. And finally, what we will do, we will try to load into the our sync location. So for that we will create a data set, blob storage only I will create as a CSV file. I will use the same link service because the same blob storage account we are using. File path, output, click on the OK, OK. Click on the new pipeline, data flow you can drag it. And after that you have to click on the publish all and after that we will trigger it then our output should be available there once the publish is complete then we will try to trigger it and uh, the pipeline should be able to perform the operation publish is completed click on that trigger trigger now okay go to the monitor it's running click on the refresh you can see it is running in progress now we can see it is succeed so I'll go to the my CSV file go to the storage in output I should be able to see my data this is a part file go to the edit now we can see we have only the limited column and we have a rename like employee ID to the ID LOC to the location and also we have reorder the column yeah, that's it in this video. Thanks.